Hello there and welcome to the confusing yet oddly compelling world of cryptocurrency. It's like the stock market had a baby with a hacker convention. Are you terrified? You should be. But also, maybe a little bit excited? Look, cryptocurrency is confusing. There's no getting around it. It's like trying to explain the internet to your grandma while she's busy yelling at the TV. But at its core, cryptocurrency is just digital money. That's it. No banks, no governments, just pure, unadulterated digital cash. Now one of the most popular cryptocurrencies out there is Tether, also known as USDT. It's what's known as a stablecoin, which means it's pegged to the value of the US dollar. Think of it like a digital dollar bill, except you can't use it to buy groceries, yet. And to navigate this brave new world of digital currency, you're going to need a digital wallet. That's where SafePal comes in. A digital wallet is basically like a virtual bank account for your cryptocurrency. It's where you store your digital coins, and it's also how you send and receive them. SafePal is a popular choice for a digital wallet because it's relatively easy to use, and it offers a good level of security. It's like the Fort Knox of digital wallets, except, you know, hopefully harder to break into. Now, before you can transfer your precious USDT from SafePal to Binance, more on that later, you're going to need to find your USDT address. This is a long string of letters and numbers that identifies your specific wallet on the blockchain. Think of it like your bank account number, but instead of being 10 digits long, it's like a million. And if you get even one character wrong, your money could be gone forever. Fun, right? So, you've got your SafePal wallet, you found your USDT address, now what? Well, you're going to need to send that USDT somewhere. And for that, you're going to need a cryptocurrency exchange like Binance. Binance is like the New York Stock Exchange of cryptocurrency. It's where you go to buy, sell, and trade all sorts of digital currencies, including USDT. It's also a great place to lose all your money in the blink of an eye, but hey, who's keeping track? Before you can start trading on Binance, you're going to need to create an account and, crucially, verify it. This is a vital step to protect your account from fraud and ensure that you're dealing with a legitimate exchange. It's also a giant pain in the neck, but hey, that's the price of security, right? Section 4. Finding your USDT address. A treasure hunt in the digital age. Now that you have a Binance account, it's time to find your Binance USDT address. This is where you'll be sending your USDT from your SafePal wallet. To find your Binance USDT address, you'll need to log into your Binance account and navigate to the wallet section. From there, you should see a list of all the cryptocurrencies that Binance supports. Find USDT on the list and click on Deposit. This will take you to a page where you'll see your unique Binance USDT address. It'll look something like this. 0x1234567898 ABC DEF. You get the idea. Copy this address carefully, because you'll need it for the next step. Section 5. The Moment of Truth. Transferring your USDT. Okay, deep breaths, this is the moment of truth. It's time to transfer your USDT from your SafePal wallet to your Binance account. Don't worry, it's not as scary as it sounds. Just make sure you have a fire extinguisher handy just in case. Open up your SafePal app and navigate to your USDT wallet. Select the send option and then paste your Binance USDT address into the recipient field. Double check that you've entered the address correctly. Remember, one wrong character and your USDT could end up in the digital ether. Next, enter the amount of USDT you want to transfer and select the correct network. This is important because if you choose the wrong network, your transaction could fail, or even worse, your USDT could be lost forever. It's like trying to send a letter with the wrong zip code, except instead of your letter getting lost in the mail, it gets sucked into a black hole. Section 6. Safety First Kids – Tips for Navigating the Crypto Wild West Congratulations! You've successfully transferred USDT from your SafePal wallet to your Binance account. Now you can finally start trading cryptocurrency and potentially losing all your money. Exciting, right? But before you go off and bet your life savings on Dogecoin, here are a few safety tips to keep in mind. Double check everything. I know, I sound like a broken record, but it's important. Make sure you're entering the correct wallet addresses, choosing the correct networks, and sending the correct amounts. Use strong passwords. This should go without saying, but your cryptocurrency is only as safe as the password protecting it. Don't use password 123 or your pet's name. Get creative. Be aware of scams. 
The cryptocurrency world is like the Wild West full of scammers and snake oil salesmen. Be wary of anyone promising you guaranteed returns or asking for your private keys. And most importantly, remember that cryptocurrency is a risky investment. Don't invest more than you can afford to lose, and always do your research before hitting that buy button. Good luck out there kids, you're gonna need it.